Weather Rate certified most accurate forecast in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. A lot of clouds, a lot of wind today, and a few light sprinkles and light showers from time to time. Not much, less than five one hundredths of an inch officially. But uh, we're waiting for our, our main weather system to move in overnight tonight, and then the actual cold front itself moves in about noontime tomorrow. But if you are headed out tonight, this is what the skies kind of look like. We had a little sunshine earlier. Now we're seeing quite a few clouds around. Again, our live Centex seamless gutter sky tracker right here in Woodway. Highway 84, everything looking pretty good uh, at this hour. Those winds, though, they have been howling. That is for sure. This is the three hour average uh, here in the Waco area, around 28 miles per hour. Same story down toward Temple, very close to that in Colleen. And we are watching that south to southeast breeze really not only punching that moisture, but that warm air on top of us. And it looks like we're going to still be looking at some strong winds tonight as well as tomorrow here across the region. Now on our exclusive Viper radar, we again had a few sprinkles and some light showers earlier this afternoon across parts of Waco, Temple and Colleen. But as you can see, as we pull it back out here, a fairly quiet out there this evening. We've got a pretty strong cap right now on top of us. So anything that tries to get going is not going to have any luck right now. And that's why we're keeping it high and dry. Most of the energy and most of the showers and storms that are expected tonight and overnight should stay well well to our north, but we may see a few. Let me show you what I'm talking about. We've got temperatures right now. This is the warmest we've been looking at so far today. We've got 70s where it's been sunny just to our west, 74 degrees over toward Brownwood, 73 in Colleen and clouds have become keeping temperatures down just a little bit down toward College Station right at 66 degrees. So here's what the forecast looks like seven o'clock tonight. I'd say mostly cloudy skies right along I-35. That does include Waco, Temple and Colleen and then areas off to the east. The further back off to the west, we're still talking clear to partly cloudy skies, but everybody becomes mostly cloudy at midnight tonight and temperatures really not falling off much. We're looking at mid 60s. Here comes a little dry line off to our west. As I put this into motion, here we go. As the dry line gets a little bit closer to us, I stop the clock. This is at four o'clock in the morning. Notice how narrow this line is. We'll see some uh, Rain showers, maybe some isolated thunder, maybe some wind, but it's not going to last very long because look how narrow this is here. My, might as well just put this in the motion here and show you here that it quickly moves away. And by six, seven o'clock tomorrow morning, when you wake up, you get ready for work or school, it's out of here. You're going to see sunshine and temperatures are not looking bad. We're talking 50s, but here comes the cold front. As the cold front approaches here by noontime, we're going to notice those winds shift back to the north and west and then much cooler air begins to funnel in. I wouldn't be surprised by five o'clock tomorrow. We're talking maybe temperatures mid to upper 40. So something to look forward to right <laughs> for dinner time tomorrow and then late Thursday into early Friday, mainly clear skies. High pressure starting to work its way down. That means temperatures will drop into the mid to upper 20s to start the day on Friday and it's in no hurry to leave. So a lot of sunshine in the forecast on Friday here across the region. Now the Storm Prediction Center once again is pinpointing areas right along I-20 and northward up into Oklahoma for the best chance or at least the slight chance of severe weather. You can see we're in general thunderstorms here in Waco, Temple and Clean. So wouldn't be surprised if we hear a rumble of thunder about 4, 430 in the morning, but that's mainly about it. So here's your forecast for tonight. Mostly cloudy. It's going to stay windy. There's that 40% chance of showers and storms, but not until about three to maybe five o'clock in the morning. 59 degrees, the low temperature and then an early morning high of 65 with that slight chance. Temperatures will be falling with sunshine developing and we're talking temperatures again upper 40s by 5 o'clock. As we look ahead, this is a long range 10 day forecast. A nice looking weekend temperatures in the upper 60s to lower 70s and another weather system begins to move in here on Monday and Tuesday. Highs very close to 80 on Monday, but there's our rain chances, which is not looking not too bad right now. And the same story down toward Bryan and College Station. Some showers early tomorrow, clearing skies, and then a nice looking weekend with another bout of some rain there. Picking up Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday with highs upper 70s to around 80 degrees. But if you are heading out tonight for dinner or running some errands, Tell you what, we're not looking too bad. A little windy out there. I think our storm activity, or at least our showers, would be again sometime after four to maybe five o'clock in the morning.